Good afternoon, pot pickers. I hope you are well. It is Wednesday afternoon. I'm currently smoking my Il Seppo. A lovely ring grain on this pipe. You see the straight grain going up there as well. Um, Il Seppo. This is a recent uh, acquisition as an estate pipe. And it says on it, handmade in Italy. It's made for Huber uh, tobacconist in Germany. And it has a number one in a circle. I'm not sure what that means. And if you guys know what that means, do let me know. I'd appreciate it. Let's get some fire to this thing. So, <clears throat> I've got a pipe to show you, and some packages, which have arrived today. A package from Northern Briars, and a package from someone else, which we will find out in a second. And this package from Northern Briars, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been waiting on for so long. Ian's a busy man, and I've been eagerly anticipating this package. This is a custom order pipe which I ordered some months back. And assuming I'm happy with it, which I'm sure I will be, it will precipitate the sale of some of my own current Northern Briars pipes in my next pipe sale. So I'm kind of fine tuning the, the Northern Briars pipes that, I, that I'm keeping. And the rest I will let somebody else enjoy. So first off, Let's open up Ian's package. I continue to buy from Ian. Ian's what I call a mensch. He's been very good to me with advice over the couple of years that I've been making pipes. See that box? He's helped me out with the manufacturer of those. I've had a whole bunch of them manufactured for myself, which I actually received yesterday. And I sent out about uh, 10 pipes in the last day or so, and they're all packed in these boxes now. So they'll be much safer in travel from now on. I've always been very careful to package them robustly with uh, bubble wrap, but they've always been in a soft package. Now they're in a hard package, so far less risk. Thankfully, I've never had a damaged pipe, which is good. So we have two items here. One um, is a... I asked them to install a uh, band on a pipe which somebody else... one of my pipes that I've made. So this was a Canadian I made a while back. I'd forgotten about it, to be honest. So I was just a bit nervous about it because being a Canadian, it's really hard uh, to keep that, um, to keep enough briar around the mortise. So I wanted the silver band on just to give it a bit of robustness. And he's put a sterling silver band on. And there we go. But the pipe itself is lovely. And uh, I believe that it's been reserved already. I shall be in touch with the person who was interested in it. It's a lovely looking pipe, actually. I'm tempted to keep this one, actually. I really am. But a word's a word. So anyway, I'll get in touch with that person if he wants it. It's his, for sure. And all I have to do is do that. And he will say, it's mine, it's mine. Some of you might be able to guess that. Who that might be. All right, so that's... That one, which I will set aside for now. Nice job, Ian. Thank you very much. Okay, so the pipe that I ordered. So you know already the series that I've been building. So far. 
I've got uh, three in this series. There's th that one. So they're all with this stem, the finish, and with that band. This one I haven't smoked yet. It's a panelled one. And this is the uh, sea urchin. So this is going to be in the same theme, but with a slight change. Here we go. Oh yeah. So I asked them to make me um oh dear me. I'm getting old. So this is one which he made me a good while back. This was uh, for my birthday in 2017. Yeah, he's put the date on it. 7th of April 2017. Um, so I asked him to make me another one, but with a smooth bowl, smooth bowl, rusticated shank, or sandblasted shank, the band, and obviously the same stem. Just look, whoo, oh, you're just noticing the stem. Oh man, that's corking. That's fantastic. Oh yeah. Yeah, and what an awesome job there. Um, so these are called um, the Quebec shape. He calls it Quebec. Um, and this has always been one of my favorite pipes. It's always been a pipe that I often smoke new blends in to try out. Um, so I asked him to make them the same shape, slightly shorter, um, with a half bend or quarter bend, but with a smooth bowl this time. And what a lovely job he's done. It's nice and lightweight. Let's just see what it weighs. Forty-four grams, perfect. I mean, this is essentially the size pipe, which for me is pretty much perfect. Um, it's it's weight, it, it's clenchable. It's not too long. Once it gets too long, then it starts to get a bit bowl heavy. It's close enough to the face. And um, this is, should be about four and a half inches. Four and a half to five inches. And that's roughly... It's five inches. Yeah, it's pretty much bang on. It's a, it's a hair under five inches. Um, but uh, I'm delighted with that. Absolutely delighted with it. Very, very nice. Let's see what he's got on here. He does like using his stamps. Handmade in England, 2021. Group three, Northern Rise Premier. So the Premiers are the ones with the smooth walls. And uh, that is probably the way I'm going to be going. So the next pipe I'm gonna get is probably gonna be um, maybe a Lovat or something like that, but with a smooth bowl and a rusticated shank. So I'm gonna be slowly developing the set like this, as opposed to the fully uh, sandblasted uh, pipes. Well, that is absolutely great. Very happy with that. It was worth the wait. All right, next package. So we have a package from up north, quite a sizable package. I'm, uh, I know who it's from, because I can see Number one, I can see the sticker on the back. And number two, I can see the sticker on the front. A very organized young man. Having said that, when I got these pipe boxes that I ordered, I brought back into commission my label writer. I've had the label writer sitting on my shelf probably for about five years being unused. Um, I think I'd run out of labels. Um, and, or it wasn't printing right, or something was wrong with it, I just didn't bother dealing with it, and I slapped it on top of the shelf. I ordered some, a box of 12 rolls of labels from Amazon, as you do. They're not original Dymos. I thought, I'll give it a try, and I updated the software, and it works like a treat. So, expect labels. Okay, so you may have heard this person speaking about sending out packages. This comes from the one and only Hermit Piper, Tim. 
he did tell me he was going to send me something. And uh, very kind of him, indeed. And he writes, Simon, thank you for your friendship. Tim, not at all. I thank you for yours. Ooh, now we are talking. Oh man, that is a very, very, very generous package. Wow. Wow, wow. It's one thing which I find hard to refuse is cigars. Um, I, I'm always grateful when anybody sends me anything, but these days I've got so much pipe tobacco and I don't encourage it. If somebody sends, obviously I'm grateful, but um, I think this is a connoisseur number one, which is my go-to, although I don't have any, but I do have two now. Thank you very, very much. He's also sent me a couple of these, which um, I, we were discussing these, um, the Habanos and Anahados range, which is the aged range. Anahados basically means aged in years. Um, and I told him that this one was my favorite in the whole lineup. And I think he says that he found these nice as well. Thank you very, very much. I know that's a, that's a very, very generous part of, the whole thing's generous, but this especially, they're going to be more costly than the other cigars, and um, I know you waited a long time to re-up your humidor, so a very generous gift from you, Tim, and very much appreciated. The Olivas, Serie G, Tim smokes these a lot, so again, these are obviously cigars that he likes, so to part with cigars that you like, just goes to show a person's generosity. Thank you very, very much, Tim. And those look like Ashton's from the band. Let's have a look. They are indeed virgin sun-grown. I can't remember if I've had these or not, but if it's sun-grown, I will probably like them. The sun-grown cigars that I've had before I've enjoyed, uh, namely the underground sun-grown, which I've really enjoyed. Tim, absolutely awesome. Thank you very, very much indeed. In fact, I'm gonna take one of these down with me when I go to the garage and I will enjoy that. Um, I think I've already got one of these on my channel. If I haven't, then I may keep it to do a video separately. So I'll have to check my channel. But it's gonna be one of these H Hartmans, either the Connie one um, or one of the Anahados. Tim, can't thank you enough. Extremely generous and I'm very, very grateful to you. Thank you for this lovely, lovely package and for your friendship. You should know one thing about Tim is he doesn't like to be called the Oracle, but I call him the Oracle. Whenever we have our um, Zoom sessions, which hopefully we will have tonight, a Wednesday night, a regular Zoom uh, meetup um, on, Professor, on Professor Jeremiah's uh, Zoom room, um, you need to know anything. Zim's the uh, Zim. Tim is the man. You can tell I haven't slept much recently, so my, I'm mixing up my uh, words. But um, I did try to get onto. Oh, I haven't showed you the pipe that I made yesterday. I'll do that in a second. Um, I did try to get onto um, Chad's uh, Zoom yesterday, on, um, but he had some gremlins. Um, and I, if you look at the picture, his thumbnail, I think it sums it up perfectly. Uh, I know exactly how you feel when you try and do something. The best laid plans of men, of mice and men, uh, they just don't work out after putting out that video, inviting everybody in, and then everybody tries to get in and you can't open the room. That's, you know, it's frustrating. And I can imagine that you're feeling rather... I'm uncomfortable about it, but do not worry. It's just a Zoom meeting. Don't worry. We, 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 I'm sure you'll be able to redo it any other time. And um, hopefully it'll become a regular uh, feature on your, uh, well, not on your channel, because it's not on the thing. But that's a, that actually, Chad, might be a feature you might want to try, maybe after a few sessions and you've worked out all the gremlins, is actually let it go live so people can watch um, the chat and... Um, that's as long as the people who are participating don't mind um, and can contribute via comments. That's a cool idea. That's how the virtual pipe club works and it works very well. Um, okay, enough of my drivel. So we'll leave one of those out. And uh, I'll check in a minute if I've actually done a video of the Anihadas. So I'll be taking one of those. Right, so I've got to show you a pipe, haven't I? So this is a pipe I made, which is um, also 
uh, a commission. Um, unfortunately, the last two that I made um, uh, in the last couple of days, so I think this is pipe 281 and 282, and, and the one I'm about to show you is 283, I think. Um, so the, one was a three star and one was a four star. Um, but I, I'd already, I'd taken pictures of them, but I'd already packed them up, all sealed up in one of these white boxes, um, and they've already been sent. Um, and I didn't do my normal YouTube video showing a new pipe. Um, I like to do that not only when I'm putting one up for sale, but even when I don't put it up for sale, if they're commissions, just to have a good record. I mean, who knows how long YouTube will allow those things to stay up, but still, it, it, it's, it's, I find it just a good way to have a record of the pipes that I've done. And many times when somebody tells me, you know, even if it's during one of my lives or if it's during another, somebody else's life, and they say, yeah, I'm smoking LCS pipe number, blah, blah, blah. And I can't remember what each pipe number is. Um, so I quickly look it up on my channel and see which pipe I'm, and I can talk to them about the pipe. Um, so it's, a, it's, I find that to be a good thing. Um, but anyway, so I didn't, I forgot to do that, those videos um, before I sent them off. So I might, um, I have got pictures of them, so I might do a slideshow and, and do a video that way. Um, but one of them was my first four-star pipe. I, I, I can't tell you how excited I was at the time as it was sort of taking shape and the final result came out. Just, I mean, a few people have asked me what makes it a four-star pipe as opposed to a three-star pipe. And what I've been answering, and which is the truth, is that in order for a pipe to be a three-star, it's got to have great grain, it's got to be clean. It doesn't mean that it won't have any spots, but overall it's got to be a clean pipe. The shape has had to have really made me very happy with the outcome. Um, and as I say, the, the, the cleanliness of the briar and the grain itself. So the shape, grain, and cleanliness of the briar. And that doesn't mean to say that a rusticated pipe can't be a three star, but I don't think I've had a rusticated three star so far. And uh, it's it's probably unlikely. It's, it's really gotta be about the grain to be a three star. So what makes it a four star? Well, in this case, um, the super cleanliness of the pipe, but more than anything else, the size of the pipe. To get a magnum sized pipe, it, it was a, a magnum sized free form, not a free hand, but free form um, Dublin. A beautiful plateau top, beautiful shape, it worked out very well. Um, and But it, because it's such a big piece of briar, for it to be clean and to have that grain throughout just made it exceptional for me, and that's what bumped it up to four. Um, so that's the answer on that question. Anyway, so here's pipe, I think this is 2 pipe 8 3. I'll check it and if I put it, whatever number I put in the title, that's the correct number, but I think it's 283. So this was a commission. The gentleman who ordered this uh, wanted, he sent me a picture of an Ashton billiard um, and he wanted something similar. Um, so I set out to make that and then whilst um, I had sort of got uh, a block prepared and so on, he sent me a, a picture of one of the Tao inspired billiards that I'd done. In fact, the first one, the short stubby one. Um, and the one with the silver ring. And he said, actually, if you can make the stain exactly like that one, and I like the stem on that as well too, and that stem was like a Levat stem, um, a short uh, saddle bit stem. So this is the result. Um, this is a three star, the grain on it is stunning. The stain, as you can see, it's almost a blonde, unstained pipe, but it is stained. There is a very, very light stain on this. I use a, a British made stain for this. Um, it's a wood stain, um, but it's almost transparent. It's not like the Feebing's leather dyes, which are opaque, pretty much. Um, these are, but well, they're not opaque, but you know, you can keep putting layers on until it becomes opaque. This one, you can't make opaque. I, I don't think it matters how many layers you put on. Um, it just helps the grain to pop just enough. So you see it more than you do on a blonde pipe. And um, really, really lovely grain. nice bird's eye and sort of grain structures on the base bird's eye all over the top of the shank and just the shaping on this one just turned out fantastic um, I, I was tempted to go four star with this I didn't simply because it has one little sand pit there it's tiny but even so um, and it's only on the surface um, but to be honest I had to restrain myself because if I just go up to four, just like that, even though it's a superlative pipe, it kind of it it kind of detracts from a four star. I think a four star needs to be absolutely exceptional, 
and the only reason why the last one was was because of its size otherwise it would have been a three star and i really what i want to do is to retain the three star as my exceptional level four has got to be completely rare but three has got to be my upper level i think otherwise i'm cheapening all the gradings um, and i certainly don't want to give the the impression that a two or a one it is not it is not worthy um, any pipe that has a one star on it has to be a worthy pipe as well um, so it's got to be you know very well constructed and the shaping and the grain everything has to be good um, but um, you know if there's anything wrong with it then I would either not sell it or mark it as a second so with an X I stamp an X on my seconds pipes um, so a one star is my run-of-the-mill good quality pipe um, and I make more one stars than any other level of pipe a two star is a a notch above you know a good grain usually on a smooth but not necessarily a smooth pipe you can you can get a two star with a a, a textured finish whether it's um, a, a reef finish or a razor finish it could be you can get a two star like that um, as i said before three stars unlikely um, but um, all in all um, anyway i'm droning on so this is pipe two six uh, two eight three i believe um, very very happy with the outcome nice green on, on the rim as well it really opened up a bit there very comfortable german silver band and um so although it has a Levat shape, it's technically a billiard with a, a, a saddle bit billiard. Um, but to, to me, it's got an overall Levat kind of look to it. But uh, I think it would have to be a longer stem and a, maybe a slightly shorter, uh, sorry, a longer shank and a slightly shorter stem maybe. Um, but uh, it has a Levat look to me, but it is technically made as a billiard. And because the shank is a little bit longer, maybe you wouldn't call it a billiard either. So it's a billiard Lovat hybrid fun. Um, I'm not that um, uh, obsessive, I'm not that much of a purist when it comes to the parameters of classic shapes. Um, the classic shapes are there, obviously, and they are what they are. And, you know, purists like to stick to that to the millimeter. Um, and I understand that too. Um, I personally am not that um, bothered about it as long as it's got um, the look of a particular shape. If somebody orders a billiard, it should look like a billiard. If somebody orders a Levat, it should look like one. Um, but uh, whether it's one millimeter this way or five millimeters that way, I'm not too terribly bothered about that. The main thing is the pipe should have balance. It should look good. It should smoke well. For me, those are it. Um, those are the, um, that's the crux of the matter. All right, I've droned on for far too long. I can't believe that I've been talking for 23 minutes. That's not possible, surely. I'm looking at my video and it says 23 minutes. I can't believe it. I thought I'd been going on for 10 minutes. All right, I'm sorry to have kept you for so long. I'm gonna wish you all a wonderful day. Oh, I do wanna shout out um, James Stumbo, uh, a recent uh, follower of my output, whether it's on IG or um, Facebook or here on YouTube. Um, he recently uh, commissioned a pipe from me, um, a magnum sized prince, and he did a box opening just the other day, I think yesterday in fact. It's his first pipe video, he's got a few other videos, I haven't looked at them but they're not pipe related, so it's his first YTPC intro if you like, please give him some love, check him out, James Stumbo, surname is spelt S-T-U-M for mother, B for brother, O for Oscar, James Stumbo, please give him some YTPC love, hit the subscribe button and uh, let's see his uh, numbers go up a bit. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one.